Uh, this is, of course, we said earlier, first year-end convention in Burbies. And I agree with Brad Meltzer when he says just because something hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it is impossible. I want to express deep appreciation to each of you for your continued loyalty to our conference and for your contribution to keeping our conference on a trajectory of positive growth and progress. And I say that without any fear of contradiction because the statistics are there to prove that God has been good to our conference amidst many challenges. And as we celebrate today under the theme, His Purpose, My Pursuit, I believe it is a compelling appeal to align with God's mandate for the world. You see, as a people, we are called to be channels, not cul-de-sacs. Not cul-de-sacs. And we are confident that amidst the prevailing threats and satanic hindrances that seek to haunt God's church, when we embrace God's vision for the battle, He guarantees us victory as the benefit. Are you there with me, somebody? 2023 is almost history. And there are many success stories that we can record and highlight. But I believe whatever God did before, He can do more in 2024. And we look forward to, uh, 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 to further growth in our evangelism in 2024. We look forward to expansion of mission to our unreached, particularly our East Indian communities. And we want to use our Spanish church in Georgetown as, uh, as a platform for strategizing to reach the developing Spanish constituency. We must strengthen our far-flung and weaker churches throughout our, our constituency through the church adoption program. Watch this now. Next year, we are hoping that strong churches in the towns and in the, on the coast will adopt weaker churches in the river, in the hinterland. Are you there with me? As we, as we exchange, as, we, as we, 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 we support these churches with resources, as we support them uh, with personnel, as we support them through exchange programs and training and camps and, and, and whatever way we can inspire those individuals to rise higher and to, be, and, and, and to become viable as, as in God's service. We want to give support to our weaker churches. Um, I, I believe that, that the, the, the Flame Initiative, for example, which we would have been promoting for some time, must not only be a name in our conference. We need a bunch of people who will faithfully labor and model excellence. That's what Flame is all about. We want individuals to sacrifice their vacation in a year. Go out into the hinterland. Spend some time. Do help programs. Help to start clubs and, and, and to train our, our, our leadership. Develop leadership in these areas. This is some of the thing, these are some things that will happen through the church adoption program. We must continue as a people to promote image building. And the conference stands committed to ensuring that every physical structure across this conference reflects a sense of pride, beauty, comfort, and good culture. Are you there with me? And just recently, out of our meager resources, the treasurer will agree, we just voted just two weeks ago, $30 million to churches in different parts of our country to help them to move to completion. And every year, we have been doing almost, out of our limited resources, almost 60 million plus. We have been finding it from all over. 
and, and many of you would, have been, would know that your church would have been beneficiary of some of these, these financial uh, initiatives. I, I want to also um, challenge you that we, as was promoted by Pastor Oni, that next year as a conference we impact families across differences. We will adopt Pastor O'Neill formally and fully. It, all the family and mission uh, program by the IAD. And, 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 and I'm encouraging our pastors and leaders to get involved as we promote couples retreats and family enrichment seminars and family life campaigns and family Bible study programs. Family is key. And must be the key for fruitfulness and favor. We must bring leadership closer to our membership. That's one of the things we want to we wanna do next year. As you notice, we have been moving from 2019 uh, to now. We have created eight new districts, Pastor Esmond. We have moved, from tw we have, we have moved to 36 districts from 28 in 20, 2019. Making the unit smaller so that we can bring leadership closer to the membership. And we will continue to work on that strategic plan to reduce the load so that our pastors can serve you better. Amen? And we're asking our pastors to give their best. To rise up. To be a model of servant leadership all across this conference as we move guy in the conference to greater heights. But not just that. We must give study. Pastor O'Neill, to how we can bring leadership even closer by evaluating and giving deep, detailed study to the possibility of territorial adjustment for Guyana, where Essequibo and Burbies. Are you there with me? Can become a region or even a mission. I, 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 don't, know if you, I, I don't know if you I don't know if you're dreaming with me. I don't know if you're dreaming with me. That that one day, Pastor Bowman, Guyana Conference should become Guyana Union. That's where the vision must take us. And we must begin. The journey now, Madam Treasurer. We must begin the journey now. You know, these are, these are days of, of misery, but also days of miracles. These are days of trial, but also days of triumph. These are days of peril, but also days of promise. These are days of ordeal, but also days of opportunities. And I'm convinced that the best days for our conference are still ahead as we join hands Join hearts, join heads to make Guyana Conference greater than it has ever been. So let's, let's press on. Let's pray on. Let's push through as we continue to pursue God's purpose. I am of the conviction that when our purpose becomes God's pursuit, our pursuit Becomes God's purpose. Are you there with me somebody? And I just want to give God praise for all of you. And I want to take this opportunity to wish each one of you. Happy holidays. Productive. Prosperous. And progressive. 2024. May God bless the churches in Burbies. Bless the churches across our conference. Bless every family across this great constituency. May God bless this nation as a result of the church, the work of the church in this conference and in this constituency. And as we do our part, we can be assured that God will stand by his promises. I want to also acknowledge as I close, and Sister Cora, I should have done that earlier, Williamson. It's such a pleasure to see you. We just recently connected, you know, WhatsApp, you know, and stuff like that. It's good to see you. Good to hear you, minister. Your lovely family, your daughter. We're happy to have you in Guyana. May God bless your ministry continually. Bless your service. God bless you, saints. God bless you.